Everybody's facing that position. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Vance Tennis Complex. Before we introduce today's lineups and begin today's match, we want to take a moment and recognize our senior players. Let's start off by giving these seniors a round of applause. Our first senior, Kelly Chapman. Kelly is from Taylor, South Carolina. She's currently majoring in interdisciplinary studies with an emphasis in sport management and business. Kelly has a cumulative GPA of 2.96 and has plans of graduating in December. During her tenure at North Denver University, she has enjoyed being a part of FCA while serving her tennis team. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, Kelly Chapman. Senior, Maria Vargas. <laughs> Maria is from Bogota, Colombia. She is currently majoring in international business and has a cumulative GPA of 3.40. After graduating from NGU, Maria is considering building a career in banking and finance. In 2015, Maria received the third team all-conference award. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, Maria Vargas. <laughs> and last but not least, Sergio Adonuzu Filio. Sergio is from Canoa City, Brazil, and is currently majoring in international business with a minor in finance. He holds a cumulative GPA of 3.089. Sergio also went to law school in Brazil before coming to the U.S. After graduating from North Greenville, Sergio would like to attend graduate school and pursue a Master of Business Administration. He is very thankful for his family and friends who have always supported him. He also is thankful for, to his family for giving him the opportunity to come to the USA and play the sport that he loves. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, Sergio Adeluju Filio! Give it up one more time for these seniors.
some pictures with the boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like eight minutes. Welcome. Welcome back to the North Greenville University Sports Network, getting ready for today's matchup between the men's and women's tennis teams of North Greenville and King University out of Bristol, Tennessee. Grace Sullivan alongside Lucas Silva from the men's squad here for North Greenville. And Lucas, it's senior day. We got three seniors on this North Greenville team, Kelly Chapman and Maria Vargas on the women's team. And then we have one senior over on the men's team being recognized today. And that is Sergio Adarujo. And so this will be, I believe, our first ever tennis broadcast here at the Vance Tennis Complex, the new facility uh, built in with the new softball complex and track and field that is being finished up a few hundred yards from our current location. So how this will work today is we will focus on the three courts we have in front of our, our table here, and then we will re be receiving scoring updates from the other courts that are down the uh, pathway from us. So the first matchup we will see here on court courts one, two, and three. For the guys, we have men's doubles with Shores Vanek and the senior Sergio Adarujo matching up against Kings. against Moritz Pasuyat and Luis Delgado. And then over on court two, you'll have Gomez and De La Torre and matching up against Walter and Lindauer for King. Over on court three, Ishikawa and Torres for North Greenville matching up against Logue and Keswani. Those all three men's doubles. And then in the women's doubles, over on court four to our right, you'll have Duhan and Kessling for North Greenville. And then Ashley Salazar and Hole for King. On court number five, you'll have DeLuca and Sandusky for North Greenville, matching up against Cerny and Alyssa Salazar for King. And then over on court six, you will have Vargas and Elms for North Greenville matching up against Bezzi and Maloney for King. That covers the doubles actions. And for the, si for the singles match matchups, starting at here at the first court, which we'll see the singles after the at the, we will have three double match, three doubles followed by six singles. That will be the uh, format for a match that we follow today. So on court one for the women's singles, we'll have the senior Maria Vargas matching up against Catherine Vezzi. And on the sec on court number two, Camille Duhan against Nia Gilliam. On the third court, Christina Kessling, Marianne Hull. On the fourth court, Kylie Sandusky <laughs> matching up against Katya Cerny. On the fifth court for the women's singles, Fernanda De Luca and Ashley Salazar. And then on the sixth court, we'll have Grayson Elms and Alyssa Salazar. For the, sing for the men's singles, over on court seven, we'll have the senior Sergio Adarajo matching up against Lenny Kaswani. Then on court number eight, Shorts Vanek matching up against Pasuyat for King. On ninth court, Jose Gomez against Luis Delgado. Court number 10, Alejandro De La Torre matching up against Yanis, matching up against Yanis Walter. On court number 11, Marcelo Ishikawa against Philip Lindauer. And on the 12th court, Edmund, Edmundo Torres and Kyle Lowe. King is coached by Maria 
Ilana. North Greenville is coached by Thomas Kurashek. He is assisted by Santiago Robles. And so Lucas has rejoined us, and uh, Lucas. Again, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Vance Tennis Complex on the campus of North Greenville University, where Christ makes a difference for today's tennis contest between the King Tornadoes and your North Greenville Crusaders. Before we pray and have our national anthem, we'd like to give a special thank you to our ball boys and ball girls for the day. Let's give them a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise for the, for the invocation and remain standing as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. We want to first lift up those affected by the earthquake in Ecuador. Please give them peace, hope, and comfort as you are still God and you are still good in all tragic events. Father, we'd like to come to you today to thank you for the talents and abilities these athletes have and to thank you for the seniors that you put on this team for your purpose. We ask that you keep them safe and help them to glorify you in their competition and in their lives. In your name I pray, amen. Now, let's introduce today's starting lineups. First, for the women's teams. Number one singles for the Crusaders, Camille Duhan. For the Tornadoes, Mia Gilliam. Number two singles for the Crusaders, Christina Kiesling. And for the Tornadoes, Marianne Hull. Number three singles for the Crusaders, our senior Maria Vargas. For the Tornadoes, Catherine Vesey. Number four singles for the Crusaders, Kylie Sandusky. And for the Tornadoes, Katia Cherney. Number five singles for the Crusaders, Fernanda De Luca. And for the Tornadoes, Ashley Salazar. Number six singles for the Crusaders, Grayson Elms. And for the Tornadoes, Alyssa Salazar. For the women's doubles teams, please raise your hand when your names are called. Number one doubles for the Crusaders, Duhan and Kiesling. For the Tornadoes, Cole and Ashley Salazar. Number two doubles for the Crusaders, De Luca and Sandusky. For the Tornadoes, Cherney and Alyssa Salazar. Number three doubles for the Crusaders, Vargas and Elms. For the Tornadoes, VZ and Maloney. And now, let's introduce the men's tennis team lineups. Number one singles for the Crusaders, Shores Vanette. And for the Tornadoes, Moritz Plesniak. Mm -hmm. Number two singles for the Crusaders, our senior, Sergio Adeluju. And for the Tornadoes, Lenny Keswani. 
number three singles for the Crusaders, Jose Gomez. And for the Tornadoes, Luis Delgado. Number four singles for the Crusaders, Alejandro De La Torre. And for the Tornadoes, Giannis Walter. Number five singles for the Crusaders, Marcelo Yishikawa. And for the Tornadoes, Philip Lendauer. Number six singles for the Crusaders, Edmundo Torres. And for the Tornadoes, Kyle Lowe. For the men's doubles teams, please raise your hands when your names are called. Number one doubles for North Rico, Benavent and Aruju. For the Tornadoes, Poswiat and Delgado. Number two doubles for NGU, Gomez and De La Torre. For the Tornadoes, Walter and Lindor. Number three doubles for North Greenville, Yishikawa and Torres. For the Tornadoes, Keswani and Lo. Your King Tornadoes are coached by Maria Ileana. She is assisted by Edgar Bum. Your North Greenville Crusaders are coached by Tomas Kerhajic and his assistant, Santi. Thank you and have a great match. So welcome back to the North Greenville University Sports Network, caring for the first time men's and women's, women's tennis here from Vance Tennis Complex, one of the new facilities that got tacked on with the new softball field and the track and field complex that is coming along and will be finished hopefully uh, very soon over the summer. I'm Grace Southern. I've got Luis, or excuse me, Lucas Silva with me, and we're going to try and bring you some tennis matches today. Now, Lucas, the format these uh, two schools will follow, North Greenville and King, will have doubles, and then we'll see three doubles followed by six singles. And why don't you explain the format a little more in depth? Well, how we do this, uh, the first three doubles, we play up to eight games. And everybody sells one game, and every other game is with six sides. Uh, three doubles, you get, can get three points up or three points down. Then we go after little, after like 10 minutes, we go start in singles, uh, six singles, and best to three sets. And then we see exactly how many points we need to have. All right. And so first we'll see the doubles match up here on courts one, two, and three. That's directly in front of us. Uh, four, five, and six are further on down. We'll be receiving scoring updates from those as the day goes on. So the first matchup we'll see right here in front of us is Shores Venek and the senior for North Greenville on the men's team, Sergio Adarujo, will be taking on Pasoyat and Delgado for King. So since he is a senior and was honored uh, pregame along with the two seniors from the women's team, what does uh, Sergio bring to this North Greenville uh, men's tennis team? He brings like a really big impact on the team. He, he's here for the four years. He played all the four years since he got here. Uh, he used to play, he got so much better. The years that I got here and I'm a junior, he's played number six, now he's top two. Uh, really big serve. Big forehand, so hopefully he'll finish this home game pretty strong and hopefully he's going to help us take the win. And then on court two, we have Gomez and De La Torre for North Greenville, Walter and Lynn Dower for King. Over on court three, the furthest away from us, we'll have Ishikawa and Torres for North Greenville, Logue and Keswani for King. Then on courts four, five, and six for the women's doubles, we'll have Duhan and Kessling for North Greenville. For King, they'll be going up against Ashley Salazar and Hull. And then on court five, we'll have DeLuca and Sandusky for North Greenville, Cerny and Alyssa Salazar for King. Court six, we'll have Maria Vargas, she's one of those seniors, and Elms. And then for King, we'll have Vezzi and Maloney. So those are the matchups for the doubles. Uh, 
Lucas, the two seniors for the women's team, Kelly Chapman out of Greenville and then Maria Vargas out of Bogota to Columbia. Uh, what have they brought to the women's team for North Greenville in their time here? Uh, I'm not really sure because see some of the men's team, so I don't have too much connection with them. But they be a big impact on the team too. Maria especially because she's a top, always been the top three on the lineup. So it brought a lot of victories for us, so that helps a lot. And Kelly, she plays uh, some games as the bottom one, but she did a good job too, helping us win. So everybody have like a really good influence on the team. And the women's team for North Greenville comes into this matchup against King seven and nine overall, six and two within the conference Carolinas. Men's team for North Greenville, six and nine overall, four and three within the conference Carolinas. For King, they come in six and 15 overall, three and seven within conference play for the women's team. For the men's team of King, 12 and 10 overall, six and three within the conference. And for King, uh, talk about the men's men's game since that will be the one you're most uh, familiar with. What, uh, in your time here at North Greenville, what have you seen uh, King be able to do that maybe somebody else hasn't been able to within the conference? Well, like, King's a really tough team too. It won't be easy. Uh, he's They are one of the strongest teams that we have in the conference too. So it's going to be interesting to see how the guys going to respond. We have been re doing really good as well. I'm not keeping up how the score is exactly how, how the King is doing. But it will be an interesting one to see. The guys are feeling well, good today. So hopefully going to bring this win. So while we wait, a five-minute warm-up period before the doubles game. Uh, we'll be seeing singles and doubles today. And, and we'll see how the scoring breaks down after it's all said and done. So first on court one, we'll have Vanek and Adarujo going up against Pasuyat and Delgado for King. Those teams warming up right now just in front of us. Again for court two, Gomez and De La Torre against Walter and Lindauer. Ishikawa and Torres for North Greenville against Logue and Kaswani over on court three. While the men's doubles play, we'll have scoring updates coming from courts four, five, and six, where the women's teams will be will be playing. And so, before just before we get the doubles matchup underway, Lucas, uh, how much, how important is it to get off to a good start with the doubles match, and how, uh, to someone who hasn't seen a lot of tennis uh, like myself. How does the doubles matchup work to start off the game? Well, we having during the season, this season we have been like struggling to find it, like better partners to fit it, like the doubles. We have some, like I say, some struggle with that. Uh, but I think we finally found like the right partners and stuff. Uh, to start the match is always really good to start strong with the doubles. Uh, it's three points already in heads of us, so. It's really good to win as as many points, start strong. Uh, tennis is a sport that if you blink a little, if you take a minute to blink, you're gonna lose the, the opportunity. So you can have put your head down. So it's, it's pretty interesting. So let's see how the guys are doing. They look like they are awake and ready to go. So hope it's gonna be a good one. Sounds like a good strategy. So we'll take a short break and bring you back for men's doubles and women's doubles here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
boys oh. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Anju. Let's go. Oh, manda, manda um beijo pra minha família, hein? Em português. Let's go, boys. All right, so here on the first court just in front of us, we'll have Shores, Vanek, and Sergio Adarujo. First, and it looks like we are underway. Looks like the first point will go to King. And it's 15 love. Going up against Pasuiat and Delgado for King. King ready to serve. And it looks like it's out of bounds behind King. King will maintain the serve. Nice little smash right there by the front man for King. And it makes it 30 love in favor of King here on the first court. Now, Lucas, is, how do you guard against the front man in doubles like that to prevent that kind of smash? Well, we are starting uh, kind of slow, I think. Uh, you just got to start like little wake, just like that, like he did. Keeping cross court, keep attacking. So King's more awake than us right now. It comes strong, so we got to hope that the guys wake up and fight back. Corner shot by King, pushes it to 40, Love. Served by the Tornado, Vanek returns. Yeah, they are doing better. They're waking up a little slower, but I think they got the next game, so let's see how it's gonna go. Right, and just to mention, on the overall scoreboard, it will show the overall match wins. 
Hart, who, who has however many points. And it won't show the score of the individual match. We'll try our best to provide that to you as it comes along. So right now on the first court, King with one, po with, uh, one point. Strong serve by NGU and Adarujo into the net. He gets a second serve after the let. And unable to elevate that ball just enough to get it over the net. King takes it 15 love. Vanek will take the front line. Adarujo back ready to serve. Big serve, big serve. Good ace there by Adarujo, the senior coming up big for North Greenville early. And after every match, each team does get it does get to serve. Yep. Every game, one of them serves. Adarujo sends this one in. He'll line up the return fire. And King's not able to return it. And North Greenville takes the lead 30-15. Comes out of Rougeau again. He'll try again. And fault against North Greenville gives it to King to tie it at 30. Over on the second court for the men's doubles going on, you've got Gomez and De La Torre for North Greenville taking on Walter and Lindauer. Court three, Ishikawa and Torres against Logue and Kaswani. Adarujo with the power serve, lines up the return. It's a third chance. And didn't get it in, it was out. King out in front 30, or 40, 30. Served by Adarujo. Nice return fire there, and Vanek. Yeah, that was out. That was game. They broke. Not looking good, but let's see if they can keep it up. That's two points to King. And now we'll get ready for the third match in this dub first men's doubles on court one. Our third game. And this one's going to be sent high and out by Adarujo. It'll be a point to King. They lead at 15 love. Served by the Tornado, Vanek on the return. Gets another corner shot, and King moving up to play that front line. I can see how that will work to your advantage if you get both guys up on the front line to try and void any return fire, but if they're somehow able to get it by you, then you don't have anybody in the backcourt to play. Yeah, doubles you want to try to go down the night as fast as you can. It's easy to finish the point, but sometimes it's not possible. King takes the next one. It's 30-15 Tornado. They lead overall here on court one, two to nothing. The serve, Vanek returns. A nice slap shot by the front man for King. 40-15. Tornado poised to take their third straight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And 
it looks like the Tornado are going to do it. So that lead three to nothing on court one. That's Pasuya and Delgado against Vanek and Adarujo. So in between, in between matches here on court one, King leading it three to nothing. Over on court two, the Tornado lead that one with Walt, Walter and Lindauer against Gomez and De La Torre. Tornado lead that one one to nothing and over on court three, North Greenville's leading that one with Ishikawa and Torres against Logue and Kaswani. Fanick gets the first serve. And frontman Arujo plays it well. North Greenville gets strikes first. Oh. Nice ball by Jose on the second court. Pretty good, pretty smart. And hopefully they're going to win that game. Fanick gets another serve. Goes over to cover that one well. King moves up to play it. Pressure against Vanek as he smacks it in. Now Adarujo gets his turn. And King's not able to get it over the net. North Greenville with two straight. They lead at 30 love. Vanek on the serve again. And reaches out for that one, but he's not back able to get. He's not able to get back across the court in time. Good ball placement by King. King gets on the board. It's 30-15. North Greenville still leading here on court one. Overall, King leads three to nothing. Good action there by the frontman out of Rujo. Now here comes Vanek. Reaches out for that one and he's got it. That's on that series there, out of Rujo playing pretty well. North Greenville just got their first match against King. I got their first game against King. Still down though, three to one, but good start by North Greenville to try and poise to get back with a rally. Over on court two, it also looks like North Greenville has struck. 
and King still leading that one two to one. Greenville off to a really good start over on court three. They're leading that one three games to none. Well, North Greenville starting a good rally here on court one. Great play between Vanek and Adarujo as he came over all the way almost in front of us to get that one. King with the serve. And I do believe that one was not done yet. King leading here three games to one on the first court. North Greenville battling back over on the second court. King leading that one two to one. Three zero on the last court. King. And King, King ahead on the, thir the third court. Thank you, Lucas. Just saw it there. Shot bounced off the net. Uh, when you're playing, when you're playing a game like that, you can't always predict when it's going to hit the net. But how do you judge it best to play it off the net when it takes a hop like that? It's hard. Like sometimes you're lucky and the ball doesn't get too hard for you to hit. But sometimes there's nothing you can do.
Waiting an update from the women's doubles. King and North Greenville. Those games going on at four, five, and six. On court, on the court numbers. like King takes another one. That will make it four to one in favor of the Tornado here on the first court. The pair of Pasuya and Delgado get that one. So now they'll change ends of the court. As Vanek and Adarujo have quite a hill to climb. North Greenville's going to get the serve here in the fifth game. that part of is that part of King's resume where their front guy pretty much reaches out and if he's got it within arm's length he's gonna take a swing at it is that part of their resume and what they excel best at yeah if you have the opportunity to kill the ball they're gonna kill it if they have to hit the guy that's in the net they will do it And from the women's doubles going on at court, courts four, five, and six. King ahead on court four, three to nothing. On court five, North Greenville ahead, four to one. So De Luca and Sandusky taking on Cerny and Alyssa Salazar. And on court six, North Greenville also ahead in that one. Vargas and Elms against Vezzi and Maloney as Vargas and Elms lead that one three to nothing. the doubles we're gonna have an eight game pro set with the usual scoring so that's what we're seeing right now uh. Fanek with with the good smash there on that for, on that shot
King just continuing to work right up close against the net. Fosfoyat and Delgado looking pretty strong early on. Scoring update from court two. Looks like North Greenville's got the lead on that one over King. Four, four games to three, so great battle there going on between the doubles pair of Gomez and De La Torre, Walter and Lindau Lindauer. That last game win over on court two, North Greenville. Trying to finish it out in the eighth game. And that should be that should be the final one over there at court two as they get ready to go into that one. And doubles will get a five minute warm up and then an eight game pro set with regular scoring. A seven point tie break played at seven games all. Another game concluded here at court one. King leads it five to two. Back in action over at court two. Good battle going on between Gomez and De La Torre for North Greenville and for King Walter and Lindauer. So when you have a pretty close game, 
like that, Lucas, like we have over at court too. What do you got to do to try and keep keep yourself focused while trying to get while trying to get a point off the other team in a, uh, in a game like that? Well, we were down, so they're waking up now. They're doing really good, so they attack more. They don't let the ball short enough, so the guys other guys can attack. So they've been doing a pretty good job. So hopefully they keep this way. You see, like attacking a lot more than you, they're not giving the guys other like opportunity to do the same. So we're doing pretty good down there. Yeah, we kind of struggle here in the first quarter, but let's see, anything can happen. That is true. That pretty close quarters there is both both players for either team really up close to the net. Arujo frustrated with not getting that shot. Especially in doubles. It's not just all about who can hit it the hardest, but communication also very important. Yeah. You gotta be smart. It's not just about hitting, you just gotta be smart. It's like this point. He was smart. Besides hitting the ball as hard as he can, he just loved him. And there's nothing the other guy can do. Yeah. Vanek making, making King go after that one. Tornado unable to get it back in. And Tornado have jumped out in front over on court two. Looks like they're leading at five to four. King now with the serve on court one. And Arujo sends it out. And down at the other courts, four, five, and six. Women's doubles, Ashley Salazar for King, along with Marie Ann Hole. 
leading that one. And it was going up date. And Salazar and Hull leading Duhan and Kessling 7 0 from court five. North Greenville still ahead in that one with DeLuca and Sandusky over Cerny and Alyssa Salazar. That one in favor of North Greenville, five to two. From court six, North Greenville pulling away in that one with Vargas and Elms over Vezzi and Maloney, six to two. Court one, Vanek and Arujo down to Pasquiat and Delgado. Go shoot, come on, come on, come on.
We're back here on the North Greenville Sports Network. North Greenville taking on King in men's and women's, women's tennis right now in doubles action. On the first court, King leading it 7-2. to two. And over on the second court, King also leading that one 7-4. to four. And King just picked up a, a game in on the fifth court in women's doubles. They starting to come back in that one. On court five, where we have De Luca and Sandusky against Cerny and Alyssa Salazar. North Greenville still ahead in that five to four. And something I've started to notice, especially here on court one, we keep talking about it. The front court play by King is very strong. And how, as North Greenville, how can you try and combat that to work your way back into this game? Do you try and play deeper in the back or? Yeah, that's exactly it. Like, we are kind of slower on both courts here. We're struggling with the ball, the deep of the balls. So the ball's getting short and the guys are doing, they are calling the ball, they're calling the points. They, they're commanding, they are leading the point. So that's been a really difficult for us. And the, well, we just lost in the court number two. Uh, rough loss for us, like shouldn't lose that, but it's all right, let's see how it's gonna go. So that is it from, that is final from court two. King takes that one, eight to four. And as that is the first overall point to King. So that will be the first of their first of their team points. And they pick up another one as it has gone final here on court one. Vanek and Adarujo unable to rally against Pasuya and Delgado. King takes that one as well. That one will finish at eight to two. So King with two overall team points. Over on court three, King in front of King in front of leading that one seven to two. Where we got Ishikawa and Torres taking on Logue and Kaswani. So we, while we wait for game, for the game over on court three to finish up, we'll take a break and try to update our women's double scores and bring you that information back here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
So on court four, our first final from the women's double as Ashley Salazar and Marianne Hull take the match over Duhan and Kessling for North Greenville. Eight to two, finish up final score on court four. On court five, tied at five sets as Cerny and Alyssa Salazar have made, made the comeback against DeLuca and Sandusky to tie it up at five apiece. And on court six, North Greenville trying to get a point in the women's category as Vargas and Elms lead Vezzi and Maloney six to three. So that's two points and doubles for the men's group for King one in the women's. Game finishing up over at court three. King was leading that one seven to two. And the Tornado take that one as well. Eight to two, so the pair of Logue and Kaswane take down Ishikawa and Torres for North Greenville. And that will be three points in the men's double category for King, so they sweep the doubles category against North Greenville. And we still have two women's doubles in action. So that's the scoring update. And we'll step away again and bring you the updates from those two doubles here in just a moment on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Back here on the North Greenville Sports Network, our men's doubles have concluded with King taking all three of those from North Greenville. So three points in the men's category to King. Waiting on the women's doubles to finish up. King took the first one of those on court four, eight to two. Waiting on court reports back from court five and six. At court five, we were tied between King and North Greenville at five games apiece. At court six, North Greenville was leading six to three. So while we wait for those games to finish up, we'll take a look at the singles matchups that we'll have. As, al as always, I'll get a five minute warm up period before those games. Then we'll have a best of three tie break sets with regular scoring and the seven point tie break played at six games all. And we'll go over the single, singles matchups again. So from the first court, we'll have Maria Vargas taking on Catherine Vezzi. On court two, it'll be Camille Duhan taking on Nia Gilliam. And on court three, Christine, Christina Kessling taking on Marianne Hull. Over on court four for the women's singles, Kylie Sandusky and Kat Katia Cerny. Court five, Fernanda De Luca, Ashley Salazar. Court six, Grayson Elms and Alyssa. Salazar. Final coming in from court six in the women's doubles. North Greenville wins it eight to three. So the first point of the day for NGU as Maria Vargas along with her partner able to Grayson Elms take that one and court five North Greenville jumps out in front seven to five over King so good game for De Luca and Sandusky over Cerny and Alyssa Salazar so potentially one more game needed in that one for North Greenville to pick up their second point of today of the day in the women's category as the men's team get off to a rocky start in doubles, trying to end their four game losing streak. And for the women's team of North Greenville, they look to end a two game losing streak. King on the other hand, and their women's team, they're looking to end a two game losing streak as well and pick up a road win as they are 0-9 away from home. For the men's team for King, they're on a one game winning streak, so they're gonna look to try and continue that as they are four and six on the road. And we'll go over the men's singles again. As all the courts here at Vance Tennis Complex will be in action. And this is seven through 12. So we'll start at seven with Sergio Adarujo taking on Lenny Keswani. At court eight, Shores Vanek taking on Pasuyat on court nine, Jose Gomez and Luis Delgado. Court 10, Alejandro De La Torre and Janice Walter. Court 11 will be Marcelo Ishikawa and Philip Lindauer. Court 12, Edmundo Torres and Kyle Logue. So that's who we expect to see on all the courts, one through 12. As North Greenville takes the final women's double to finish up on court five, so two points to North Greenville in the women's tennis matchup against King as De Luca and Sandusky take it 8-5 over Cerny and Alyssa Salazar. So Vargas and Elms, De Luca and Sandusky take two points for North Greenville and King with one as Ashley Salazar and her partner Marianne Hull take it on court four, eight to two. That's a scoring update from all our courts. And we'll let everybody take a break and bring you back for singles action from the Vance Tennis Complex here on the campus of North Greenville University as we continue live 
on our first tennis broadcast here on the North Greenville Sports Network. In between doubles and singles action here at the Vance Tennis Complex, broadcasting tennis today on the North Greenville Sports Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching. And now we'll send it over just to my left to the corner of the court 
as we now bring in our sideline reporter Ansley Brock to catch up with the one men's senior that is on the North Greenville squad, and that is Sergio Adarujo. He and Shores Vanek took on the King pair of Pasuat and Delgado here on court one. Unfortunately, did not get the result they wanted in a win. But still, we're going to catch up with the senior, Adarujo, here in just a moment. Sergi, you're the only senior for the men's team. How do you feel as though your, sen your senior season has gone? Yeah, it's almost done. We still have two more games, but I'm happy that I had the opportunity to play for NGU. Such a good place, environment. Everyone always supporting me. Everyone always come here support the team. So, yeah, I'm really excited about and hopefully these next two games we have, we're going to do good. And also in the conference tournament next week, I hope we do, we do well. So coming into your freshman year playing, did you have any goals that were set? And if so, have you met those goals yet? Uh, when I came here, it was like pretty hard because the team was like most people, we didn't have like enough players. So it was the first year like program for our new coach. So we kind of struggled, but I'm glad we, we could like overcome all these hard, hard situations we've been through. And now we got a pretty good team. Yeah, and I, I think I have my goal was to finish like my four years here and like play strong, do my best. So and I'm glad that everyone, come on, come on, everyone supporting me always. So that's it. Yeah. So going into the singles match today, what is your goal? And do you have any things that you like to do beforehand that get you going and get you excited? Or yeah, we just were in the locker room. Everyone was really excited. like we. Of course, we we're sad about we lost, but we need to keep our heads up. So. Yeah, for singles, we now need to focus and think ahead. So, and I always try to, like, I always think about family and friends. They're always here supporting me. So I always think about them. It's a good motivation to, to fight harder in the court. Yeah, I'm sure your family is very proud of you today. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. This is Ansley Brock. Back to you guys. And Sergio will be taking on Lenny Keswani over on court seven to start us off in the men's singles game. Or it will be the second, excuse me, it will be the second men's singles game. Court eight will be will feature the first men's singles game as his partner in the doubles, Shores Vanek, will take on Pos Poswiat for King. And that that will be our first two men's singles. As that will be Moritz Pospoyot taking on Shores Vanek and Lenny Keswani taking on the senior for North Greenville, Sergio Adarujo. So it looks like the women's singles warming up just in front of us and further down the men's singles warming up as well. So we're just a few moments away from getting underway in singles action here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
The singles action is underway here at the Vance Tennis Complex on the campus of North Greenville University. As some scores starting to come in right now, especially here on the first court. As we have a senior Maria Vargas taking on Catherine Vezzi. Over on the second court, we have Camille Duhan taking on Nia Gilliam. On the, third, on the third court, Christina Kessling for North Greenville taking on King's Marianne Hull. Then on the fourth court, North Greenville's Kylie Sandusky taking on King's Katia Cerny. On the fifth court for NGU, Fernanda De Luca taking on King's Ashley Sal Salazar. And on the sixth court, and this is the final court for women's singles, North Greenville's Grayson Elms taking on King's Alyssa Salazar. Then in men's singles going down at the second half of the courts, we have North Greenville's Sergio Arujo, the senior, taking on Lenny Keswani. Shores Vanek taking on Moritz Poswiat for King. North Greenville's Jose Gomez taking on Luis Delgado. NGU's Alejandro De La Torre taking on Yanis Walter. On the 11th court, North Greenville's Marcelo y Ishikawa taking on Philip Lindauer. And on the 12th and final court here at the complex, Edmundo Torres taking on Kyle Logue. So that is all the singles action going on. And we will continue to update scores as we have one already in at the second court. North Greenville leading that one. Camille Duhan leading one game to none over Nia Gilliam. No score currently showing between Vargas and Vesey. So that's all the action right now. We'll update you with more later on here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Back here on the North Greenville Sports Network, King taking on North Greenville in men's and women's tennis action. All 12 courts now in action as we have transitioned into our singles portion of the event. King with the overall lead. Now the scoreboard you see, you will be seeing, is a combined score of both men's and women's game of the games played so far today. So King currently ahead in that for to two. Just a reminder again, that is a combined score of both men's and women's events here today. Updates from court, courts four, five, and six. Off to our right, Kylie Sandusky leads Katya Cerny three games to none. Fernanda De Luca also up on Ashley Salazar three games to none. And then on court six, Grayson Elms also leads Alyssa Salazar three games to none. On court one, update just coming in. Maria Vargas down to Catherine Vezzi, three sets to none. North Greenville leading over on the second court. Camille Duhan leading Nia Gilliam, three games to one. And over on court three, looks like Kings in control of that one. Yes, they are. Mar Marianne Hull leading Chris Christina Kessling, five games to none. So that is from the women's singles. We'll be right back with an update from all of the men's singles as they are playing on court seven through 12.
More updates coming in from the men's singles further on down the complex here at the Vance Tennis, tennis Complex. On court seven for men's singles, this will be seven through 10 is what we have updated. So on court seven, it is King leading one to nothing with Lenny Keswani up on Sergio Adarujur. Adarujo, there we go. And then on court eight with Shores Vanek taking on Moritz Poswiat. We have a nine nothing lead for King in that one with Poswiat up on Vanek. That one being played to a tie, a tie break as once a team has reached five overall points and the overall match is not yet decided, any remaining singles matches that have not started, a third set should play a 10 point tie break in lieu of a third set. So that's what's going on down at court eight with King leading that one nine to nothing. At court nine, we have King also leading one game, one game to none as that is Jose Gomez going up against Luis Delgado. So Delgado up on Gomez, one game to none. A lone bright spot for North Greenville in the men's single so far is on court 10 with Alejandro De La Torre leading three games to none over Yanis Walker. And so we'll wait for updates to come in from courts 11 and 12. That's what's going on in the men's singles as we'll switch back to the women's singles. Maria Vargas has grabbed two games over Catherine Vezzi. Vezzi still leading though three games to two. Over on court two, North Greenville leading that one with Duhan over Gillingham, four games to one. And the score remains the same on court three. Five games to none with Marianne Hole up over Christina Kessler.
everything about the camera. I work on
Drawing to a close in today's tennis matchup between King and North Greenville. From what we can see right now, in the second set on court one between Maria Vargas and Catherine Vezzi of King. Right now, Vezzi up two, two to one in the second set. Vargas did manage to win the first set, so going for the game here in set two. Over on court two, North Greenville also leading that one by a score of three to two. Can't quite tell what set they're in over there between Camille Duhan and Nia Gilliam. And over on court three, North Greenville also leading that one two to one. And it looks like they're still in the first set. So I mentioned drawing to a close here at the Vance Tennis Complex. And we expect a winner to be decided shortly between King and North Greenville. Coming up later on tonight, we'll have men's lacrosse in action against Mars Hill, as it will also be senior day for the men's lacrosse team. And the two seniors that are on the North Greenville roster, Stephen Towns, And we had one more, Brad Fools, will be honored at tonight's senior ceremony for men's lacrosse as they take on Mars Hill. So join us later tonight for that as we draw to a close within the hour here at Men's and Women's Tennis on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Scoring updates continuing to come in from courts four through 12. At court four right now in women's singles action as Kylie Sandusky taking on Katya Kearney. King leading that one one to nothing, so Kearney up on Sandusky 1-0. At court five, King leading North Greenville three to two, and that is Ashley Salazar up on Fernanda De Luca, three to two. Court six, North Greenville winning that one, 3-0, with Grayson Elms up on Alyssa Salazar. And at court seven, North Greenville also leading that one in men's singles, as the senior Sergio Arujo has taken the lead back from Lenny Caswani. At court eight with Shores Vanek and Moritz and Moritz Pawasayat. That one in favor of Vanek at five to two. No score recorded on court nine between Jose Gomez and Luis Delgado. And at court 10, North Greenville leading that one. Alejandro De La Torre taking on Yanis Walker. De La Torre leading Walter three to two. Court 11 score in against Marcelo Ishikawa and Philip Lindauer. As Ishikawa down one, King leading that one with Lindauer two to one. And at court 12, it's all tied up at four between Edmundo Torres and Kyle Logue. So that's the scores from courts four through 12. As Maria Vargas continues to lead one set to none over Catherine Vezzi. But right now Vezzi ahead here in the second set, three to two. Over on court two, North Greenville leading by one set as well. Camille Duhan up on Nia. Gilliam and Gilliam ahead in that one as well, four to three. And over on court three, North Greenville leading four to one with Christina Kessling up on Marie Ann Hull. And see if we can get a set number from that one. And it looks like the set number is in favor of Gilliam over on court or excuse me, in favor of Hull for King on court three, but Kessling trying to battle back to even it up at a set apiece. She has the advantage right now four to one over Hull. So that's all the scores from all the courts right now as we've hit, as we've hit bottom of the hour. Men's lacrosse coming up at seven here on the North Greenville Sports Network. And you taking on Mars Hill in their senior day celebration over at Pepsi Stadium in just a little over two hours.
winding down on men's and women's, women's tennis here on the North Greenville Sports Network. And now we're going to continue our interviews with the senior class here on the tennis teams. And we're gonna catch up with Kelly Chapman out of Greenville, South Carolina. Ansley Brock is standing on the corner of the tennis court, catching up with her now. Kelly, when you came into this program, did you have any goals set? I had asked Sergio that question before, but I just want to know if you did too. Um, yeah, some of my goals that I had were I, have, I was involved in FCA, so I really want to lead my team um, to be closer to Christ. And as I moved up, I want to improve my games throughout the years. So you said you wanted to lead your team. Do you feel as though you and the other seniors have had to step up and be good leaders for this season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as a senior, you're held to that responsibility, and I think that people, we know that people are looking out to us, so it makes us set higher standards for ourselves and be a role model for all our teammates. When, so you're graduating. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans that involve tennis afterwards? Uh, well, my major is sport management, so maybe I can work at a tennis facility. Um, I could be coaching, like, doing clinics during the summer or something, so possibly in the future. When did you start getting involved with tennis? So did you start at a young age or were you a little bit older? Yeah, I started playing when I was like, I was in middle school, so like 10, 11, and played throughout high school and throughout college, so. So you had mentioned that you wanted to coach. Would you want to coach at the year that you had started playing, so around the people who were about 10 to 11, or would you want to coach high school or move into college one day? Um, Possibly, I like work, working with younger kids and also possibly of high school. I, was like, I really enjoyed high school tennis, so that would be neat to do one day. All right, since you are graduating, I have to ask, if you could say one thing to the people who are to little kids who are looking up to you as a college athlete, a college tennis athlete, what would you have to say? Um, I would say follow your dreams and don't let anyone stop you for pursuing that dream. All right. Well, thank you, and congratulations on graduating. Thank you. All right, back to you guys. That was Ansley Brock catching up with Kelly Chapman, graduating in December, December, but honored here on Senior Day as part of the Senior Day celebration. So it looks like Maria Vargas is in a break with her opponent. That is Catherine Vezzi. She does lead by one set. And she'll try and finish finish up that in two sets. So while most of the games here are in break, we'll take one with them. Be back to wrap things up here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Back for one more interview here on the North Greenville Sports Network. Ansley Brock will be catching up with the last senior honored here at Senior Day, Maria Vargas, who just finished the day with a two-set win over Catherine Vezzi of King. So we'll send it over to Ansley and get Maria's thoughts on the day. Maria, coming in, I had already asked the two seniors on the team if they had goals coming into college as an athlete. So I was wondering if you have, and if, if so, have you met them? Yeah, um, I'm working to get my goals. And uh, one of my goals is working a bank. Um, I love financing, and I think that's my next goal. So what age did you start playing tennis at? Uh, when I was eight years old. When you were eight years old. Who has been your biggest inspiration since you were eight years old in tennis? It was my family, my dad and my mom. They all the time support me, and I just love tennis. And since I was little, I all the time went to play, and they support me a lot. You talked about having support. So do you plan on, or do you hope to be an inspiration and to help support somebody in tennis one day? Yes, definitely my little sister. She's coming to college next year, and she's going to be a tennis player too, so... I hope she does the same good career I did, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> you won your final match here at home. How does it feel knowing that you get to leave North Greenville as a tennis player and having your final match victory? Oh, it feels really good. I'm really happy I played for NGU. I had a lot of knowledge, and I feel so happy I gave the point for my team, and I'm glad I. I had Tomas next to me, and he helped the team too, as well me. So who is Tomas? Tomas is our tennis coach. So you talked about your little sister, and you talked about Tomas. Do you think that one day you might be able to help others, not just your little sister, but be maybe someone's Tomas? Oh, uh, maybe, yes. I don't know. I definitely don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> I really, um, after college, I'm going to build a career in finance, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to play tennis, but I don't think as competitive as I did before. All right. Well, we wish you the best in the future, and just congratulations today. All right. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Thank you, Ansley. And that is the three seniors that were honored today, Rhea Vargas, Kelly Chapman on the women's team, and on the men's team, Sergio Adarujo. We're waiting on some final scores to come rolling in from further on down the court. We'll bring those to you and then wrap things up and head over to men's lacrosse against Mars Hill for their senior day celebration. So that will do it for men's and women's tennis here on the North Greenville Sports Network. We are going to have to wrap things up and head over to men's lacrosse. Currently on court three, there is some action still in singles in the singles match between Christina Kessling and Marianne Hull as they are heading to a deciding third set, each with one, and currently Kessling with the lead at five to four men's singles going on further down. Uh, stay tuned to nguathletics.com, new athletic sites, for the final scores to go up on there. And hopefully we might be able to bring you those final scores during halftime of the lacrosse game. 
We thank you for listening to today's matchup between King and North Greenville and getting to see some tennis action here on the North Greenville Sports Network for the first time. So stay tuned for men's lacrosse coming up next here on the North Greenville Sports Network.